Good day guys, Bing here. Um, so previously we did an exercise. We well, we used pattern-based family for this type of um, uh, masonry uh, screen uh, wall. <laughs> um, today we're going to try uh, a different method. So we're going to use uh, curtain panel. Oh, sorry, curtain wall to model this. So it can be also very very simple. So this is it. So you can see this is a wall. Um, we can change the change the width. Okay. We can also change the height. And it's very very simple, very clean. Um, and and it's I think it's even easier than the pattern based family because we don't need um, any mass to create this. We can create a similar okay so something like that so okay so let's do it so first uh, I'll just close this and uh, first I want to just do a screenshot of this and um, and also I'm to make this uh, slightly easier uh, I'm going to assume the so size of these blocks. Okay, so of course we can make it parametric, but um, let's just make fix fixed dimension first. Okay, so so see this block. So I'm going to assume this uh, the size of the width is uh, maybe 400, and the height of this is um, 200. And the depths, the depths of this is 200 as well. Okay, so this is uh, let's assume this the dimension of these blocks, and then uh, we need to find a pattern. So we all know that um, curtain wall can only be like like this, like a rectangular uh, pattern, right? So we need to find a rectangular pattern in here. So if I draw from this corner. Of this block all the way to the next corner this block and go up and then go down here and so this will be our panel so you can see if I repeat this it will it will create the whole um, entire uh, block uh, block screen right so uh, that's another one here and another one here okay so now we just need to create this one and we just need to model what's inside here and also this is a tri tri uh, tricky part <laughs> so we need also we also need to model this bit so we need to model one okay and another one here so it doesn't matter it's outside of this curtain uh, curtain panel so we, we still need to model this bit okay because when it repeats it will go here so we can see we, we need this we need this but we only going to model outside of this curtain panel we, we are not going to model this bit <laughs> okay so um, now let's go to Revit uh, first we need to uh, create a curtain wall panel so you see here so this is a curtain wall panel template Okay, so first thing we need to go to either in exterior or interior, so which is um, like a front or back elevation, and then we're going to just uh, roughly adjust the the, uh, the size of this. So you can see this uh, the width overall width, and from top to this uh, reference level is the height. So let's go back to here. So because this is a two hundred. And another 200 so the overall height is 400 400 okay and the overall width is so this is 400 plus something like uh, 300 uh, a little bit less than okay so how about let's make it um, 400 plus 300 700 slightly less than 300 600 oh sorry 700 let's make it 660 okay so 660 400 so this will be the size of the uh, curtain, curtain wall panel 
So go to Revit. So I'll click on this one. So this we just need to type in three three zero. So this will make the overall width six sixty. So click on this. Type in four hundred. So now we have the size of this. Um, okay. So the next step is uh, we're going to create those uh, block uh, shape, right? So we're going to use extrusion. Okay. So click on this rectangular, and I'm going to just draw something like this: two hundred high, right? So and four hundred wide. So that's it. And I'll just type OF offset. And then with this, uh, uh, let's assume that's 40 uh, thick. Okay, so 40. And then with this copy checked. Okay, so and then tab, click, and that's it. And then for the, uh, the depths, we're going to just, um, let's just finish this one and then go here. So extrusion and extrusion start. So we are going to just uh, add, put in, oh, oh sorry. 100 and negative 100 so this will give us uh, overall 200 and then uh, you can also create a parameters for material just click on here to create a material parameter or you can just uh, give it a material like here or create a new material so uh, i'll skip uh, this um, so now let's go to 3d view and you will see this is it so this is one of the block and let's go to exterior again and then we can just copy this one go I'll, I'll just copy this um here go up here and i think that's it so very simple right so and let's just double check so if i do a dimension here 70 dimension here yeah all good um and also if you want to uh, you can even add so if i go back here so we can even add some mortar uh, between these blocks okay so if you really want to make it more realistic so you can have you know this as a one material you can some have, have some mortar um, as a different material so uh hang on let me think uh what should we do so how about that maybe i maybe i will just make this like 190 uh, high so we can have like 10 mil for the motor and then another 10 let's let's try this so i'll just edit uh hang on, let me just move this go this up by 10 okay so i'm gonna finish it and select this one edit and then by 10 finish okay so then what we're going to do is um we are going to let me just have a look again so there's no uh, only we need only only need this bit this bit yeah so what i'm going to do is i'll control c because the overall depth is the same i'll just control c and paste in the same place in the edit extrusion so we can just create or, or maybe just delete everything all, all we have here and create another extrusion here so with this so 10 mil thick uh, so width of you know from this edge to this edge and then we can just give it a di di different material or different material parameter but for now i'll just leave it okay so and then with we have this one we can just copy this one simply copy this one to this side and we will need to have another one here and then we will need to have another one here so so cc copy okay so cc cc copy okay type cc to copy so i think this is it so if i go to 3d view you can see that's um, if I tl or change the scale tl back yeah that's it sd shade um yeah so this is one of the curtain panel so now what we need to do is we need to create a project okay so and then we are going to start with the wa wall go down here i'll just start with a store front we just draw store from here go to 3d view let's select this oh sorry select the whole thing tab select and then we're going to edit type duplicate 
let's call it um, block uh, screen wall, something like that. Click OK. And the first thing, we need to remove all the mullion. You can tap in now or just go, se go select now. Or Control C, Control V, Control V, Control V, Control V. Okay, so this will get, get rid of all the mullions. Uh, and of, of course, you, you need to click on this delete mullion. Otherwise, if you click on OK, so uh, you will keep all the mullion. Although, you know, you set none, they are still there. Okay, click on delete mullion and go back to edit type. So when you give the curtain panel, right? So go here, drop down menu, find that. Oh, did, oh, hell. Oh, sorry, I didn't. <laughs> Block screen wall. I think that's the one. Oh, sorry. That's that's this curtain wall. Sorry, I didn't. Uh, let's click OK first, because we didn't we didn't load this family into that project. So let's click uh, uh, load into project, and go back again. Edit type. So this time you should be able to find that family. So yep, yeah, here. And then we need to adjust the size of this panel, right? So first go to V grid. V grid is the width of the panel. So go change to uh, change to fixed distance and the 660. And the same uh, horizontal fixed distance and we we'll change to 400. Okay. So now we click OK. And then that's it. So um and you uh, yeah so you can see this is not quite right so this is because the width is um so we need to adjust the width uh for this so for example this is uh 20 meter so i would just go to a calculator 20 meter uh divide by 660 equals Okay, 30. So slightly, maybe maybe we could just use 30. So we can go back again, click a number equals 30 times 660. So this will give us a perfect, uh, perfect uh, screen wall. <laughs> okay, so all the panel size up, correct, right? And this is it. So um. And let's have a look again. I think oh, everything's good. So if you want to, uh, you can also even make this uh, embed into other um, other wall. So uh, and also let me change the height. So four meter. Okay. So maybe make it reduce the width six point six meter. So that's it. And also if so to embed this wall into other other wall so you can just check this automatically embed and then if we have another wall i'll just draw a wa wall so imagine that's uh, some you know like a concrete wall a generic, generic 300 very thick wall okay so you can see and then we can just i'll just al uh, align i'll just pick the center um line line of this wall and pick this so it will automatically cut this wall okay and this is it uh double the width and change the height let's make it six meter so so this is it, a uh, different method, um, curtain wall. Sometimes I think it's easier even <laughs> than pattern based family. But it can be only, uh, can only be, um, so for this, this family can only be uh, fixed, fixed dimension. I, I don't think it will work if we, ch we change, uh, if we change the size of, of uh, how. Uh, if I'll just rough uh, slightly change the size. Uh, 
actually it works but oh no it's not so you can see it, will, it won't work but um if you if if you go back into this family and i think uh, it's it's it won't be hard to make this this fully parametric okay so yeah have, I, I think have have a try um and um and i think that's it that's it. very simple right so um i will upload this or uh, maybe I, sh I should change it back control z yeah i will upload this one so you can have a have a play uh if you have any questions please let me know i will see you next time thank you